located about nine miles to the west of Naples, Campi Flegrii, left, is one of the few active supervolcanoes in the world. The volcano has become weaker and more prone to rupturing a break or fracture through the rock that makes up the body of the volcano, which could lead to an eruption, they say. Campi Flegrii has been restless for more than 70 years, with spikes of unrest in the 1950s, 1970s and 1980s and tens of thousands of small earthquakes due to the volcanic activity. A supervolcano in a densely populated part of Italy could be on the verge of its first eruption since 1538, researchers have warned. The Campi Flegrii volcano near Naples, southern Italy, has become weaker and more prone to rupturing, making an eruption more likely, the experts say. Located about 9 miles .5 kilometers, to the west of Naples, it is one of the few active supervolcanoes in the world. Around 360,000 people live at Campi Flegrii and may need to evacuate if experts think it's in immediate danger of an eruption, although scientists say there's no guarantee one will occur anytime soon. When the volcano eventually blows it is likely to be comparable in size to the eruption of Mount Vesuvius that destroyed the cities of Pompeii and Herculaneum in AD 79. The study has been conducted by experts at Italy's National Research Institute for Geophysics and Volcanology, INGV, and University College London. Lead author Professor Christopher Kilburn at UCL's Earth Sciences Department said that Campi Flegrii is more prone to a rupture, a break or fracture through the rock that makes up the body of the volcano. It's a natural result when the volcano is stretched as pressure builds up underground, Professor Kilburn told Mail Online. Once a rupture has occurred, it will be easier for volcanic fluids to escape. This does not mean that they will escape, only that it will be easier to do so than before. A rupture could open a crack through the Earth's crust, although the magma still needs to be pushing up at the right location for an eruption to occur. Campi Flegrii's large, 8-mile-wide caldera, its basin-like depression resulting from prior explosion, is located under the western outskirts of the city of Naples. About a third of the caldera is partially submerged beneath the Bay of Pope Swally, but the remaining two-thirds is land that's home to more than 360,000 people. Campi Flegrii, or Burning Fields, is defined as a supervolcano because it has the potential to produce a magnitude 8 eruption, capable of discharging more than 200 cubic miles of material. People live in the area and would be in danger if the volcano erupted again and shot out pyroclastic currents, hot and fast-moving flows of gas and solidified lava particles. Campi Flegrii last erupted when Henry VIII was last on the English throne, and this event came following an interval of about 3,000 years. But the researchers warned that large calderas of this sort frequently pass through several decades of unrest before they erupt. Campi Flegrii has been restless since the middle of the 20th century, which is of a particular worry to scientists. It's had several two-year periods of unrest in the 1950s, 1970s and 1980s causing small, local earthquakes and ground uplift due to movement of magma beneath the surface. However, Campi Flegrii's current tensile strength, the maximum stress a material can bear before breaking when it is stretched, is likely to be about a third of what it was in 1984, the researcher said. What's more, for the past decade, the ground below Pope Swally has been creeping upwards at about 4 inches per year, as gas increases pressure in the magma, causing the ground surface to bulge and deform. The new study used a model of volcano fracturing, developed at UCL, to interpret the patterns of earthquakes and ground uplift, and concluded that parts of the volcano had been stretched nearly to breaking point. This is the first time we have applied our model, which is based on the physics of how rocks break, in real time, to any volcano, said Professor Kilburn. Our first use of the model was in 2017 and since then Campi Flegrii has behaved as we predicted, with an increasing number of small earthquakes indicating pressure from below. We will now have to adjust our procedures for estimating the chances of new routes being opened for magma or gas to reach the surface. Worryingly, an eventual eruption could be preceded by relatively weak signals such as a smaller rate of ground uplift and fewer earthquakes. This was the case for the eruption of the Rabaul Caldera in Papua New Guinea in 1994, which killed only five people, largely due to good disaster planning. 
the eruption was preceded by small earthquakes occurring at a tenth of the rate than had occurred during a crisis a decade earlier. Professor Kilburn said authorities are well prepared in case an emergency develops, although there is no reason to believe that they are needed now. Immediate signs that a volcano is about to erupt include cracks in the ground and dark streams of volcanic gases being emitted, although Campi Flegrii is not at this stage. The volcano is showing signs that the crust is weakening as it continues to stretch, Professor Kilburn told Mail Online. It's a natural process, but at last we are able to recognize it while it is happening. This will help provide clearer assessments of the volcano's future behavior. The team will now apply the model of volcano fracturing to other volcanoes that have reawakened after a long period of time to help establish more reliable criteria for deciding if an eruption is likely.